guys. So today I wanted to talk about the five most common mistakes that people run into when they're trying to lose weight. Um, so set the, set the ground running. So one of the first things I find um, that people make a mistake when they are trying to lose weight, they actually have no clue what their numbers are and where they're starting from. And sometimes even where they're wanting to go. So whenever you're any goal you're you're looking to achieve, you need to know where you're starting from. You know how many calories are you eating, how much do you weigh, and what your body measurements are. And um, we'll talk about more about body measurements later. Um, that's a really important one in my book. So you need, you need to know where you're starting from. You need to track your how much what you're eating for. You know three to seven days so that you're getting a baseline of where you're starting. And then you also need to know where you're going. So anytime you're driving down the road, you know, you need to know where you're going or else you're just kind of driving around in circles like a silly person. So that's the rule number one, or the first mistake I find that people make when they're trying to lose weight. The second one is, um, and I, for me, this is a big one, is focusing only on the scale. Yes, you need to know how much your, your weight is and where you're starting from. And it is a good way to track your progress overall, but it's not the only way to track your progress. And if you've ever gotten on the scales, even when you're losing weight, like it's, it's a roller coaster. It's, it's going all over the place. One day you'll be up, the next day you'll be down, then you'll be up two pounds. It's, it's enough to drive you insane. And if you're not mentally prepared for that and acknowledging of that, it will drive you absolutely crazy. And then you'll start to question what you're doing and wanting to give up. That's why I say it's important to do the body measurements as well, because when you're losing weight, even if you're building muscle, which is going to make your weight go up, um, it's also tightening everything and you can start seeing the inches come off. So your weight might be going up, but the inches are coming off. That lets you know progress is being made. Um, same thing with your clothes. If your weight's going up, but your clothes are fitting better, that's progress. So when you're only focusing on the scale, that, that, that can really mess with your head. And that's one of the other common mistakes I see people make when they're trying to lose weight. The other one is, uh, the third one, which I think uh, most of people don't, it, it kind of goes against everything we kind of believe in, but we're eating too few calories. Basically, we're not eating enough food. Um, in many of the diets, especially if you grew up in the 80s and 90s like I did where everything was low fat, um, diet this, diet that, you know, it kind of goes against everything we were brought up to believe. So obviously, you know, it's calories in versus calories out. If you eat less calories, you're gonna lose weight, right? No, not all the time because your body needs a certain amount of calories to sustain itself just for general purposes and for living. And if you're not getting enough calories, your body is going to hold on to everything that it has to make sure that it survives. So making sure you're eating enough food, making sure you're eating enough protein. Um, I know I struggled with that for the longest time. Um, protein makes you feel satiated. It gets you all the good stuff that you need to build the muscles, which we'll talk a little bit about, about in just a minute. And then same thing is similar to what I was talking about. It's going on these extreme diets and stuff that is not sustainable. So that's another common mistake that people make is going on these low calorie, low fat diets that are completely, you might be able to sustain them for a week, maybe two weeks, maybe a month if you're lucky. You're not going to sustain that for life. And then you're going to end up gaining all the weight that you have lost um so it, you want to make sure that you're eating enough food um the fourth reason the fourth um common mistake that i see people make is not exercising enough or exercising too much um so you know people are not lifting weights because they don't want to get you know well, like a female version of the rock or our spiral source and they don't want to get all bulky but when you gain muscle, it helps burn fat faster. It helps burn calories and up your metabolism. So 
you know, you do want to lift weights. And I also see a lot of people doing too much cardio along with not lifting weights. I'm not saying cardio is a bad thing. It's just, just doing cardio. Yeah, you're going to burn calories, but you're not gaining muscle. So you're going to have to eat less if you're just doing cardio, because then you're looking at the calories in, calories out, and then you're not going to be eating enough, and it's a vicious cycle. So, you know, making sure you're eating enough, lifting weights, and yes, you can exercise too much. Even though exercise is good, exercise does put stress on your body, and stress will, will cause us to hold on to fat longer if you have too much of it. So you've got to give your body a rest, guys. Um, to make sure that you're able to recoup and um, regenerate the muscles and the cells as needed. Um, you can do a whole workshop on just stress alone. And then the fifth most common mistake that I find people make, and this is probably the biggest one, is there your people are expecting too much too soon. Um, I know it feels like we're we can put that weight on like that or overnight. And no matter what we do, what we try, it does not come off as quickly and it won't. It's, it's just, it's, it's life. So you, you have to be patient. You have to, have to trust the process. And most importantly, you have to give yourself grace and acceptance and know that it is a process, that it is going to take time and it is going to be worth it because, you know, the longer and the, the more sustainable you can do the weight loss, the longer it's gonna stay off, the easier it's going to be able to sustain over time. Um, so overall, it's just gonna be better for your body. You don't want to lose a ton of weight super fast because that's not healthy, healthy for you, your, you or your body either. So always remember during the weight loss process, don't expect too much too soon. Trust the process and give yourself love and grace and know that it will work if you are consistent with it and you are accountable to it. So I hope those five most common mistakes help you kind of get prepared and get ready for this new chapter that you're on, or maybe it's a chapter or journey you've been on for a while, but I hope you find um, some some good, valuable tips in there. I will talk to you all later.